Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're diving into a new AI image editing tool called Quen Image Edit 2511. This is an upgrade over Quen Image Edit 2509, and it's the latest release from Alibaba's Quen team. Now, this new version brings some important improvements, and the biggest one right away is consistency. In AI image editing, one of the hardest problems has always been keeping the character, face, and small details consistent while editing. With Qn Image Edit 2511, consistency has seen a massive upgrade. In the older versions, edits would often cause image drift, unwanted blur, or changes to areas you didn't touch. But in 2511, that drift is significantly reduced, meaning your edits stay focused exactly where you want them and the rest of the image stays intact without getting distorted or blurry. Next up is multi-person and group photo editing, which is now much stronger. In the previous version, handling multiple people in a single image was honestly not that great. Faces would look plasticky, identity would shift, and sometimes people wouldn't even look like the same person anymore. So in this video, we'll actually test and find out if 2,511 improves multi-person consistency or not. Another major upgrade here is built-in LoRa support. So instead of manually loading and managing community-created LoRa's, this model already comes with integrated community LoRa's, which makes customization and style control much easier out of the box. To quickly sum it up, Quinn Image Edit 2511 offers much sharper editing less bleeding and drifting, better identity preservation for faces and characters, stronger multi-person handling, built-in LoRa effects, and overall more reliable results. Now let's take a look at the Quen Image Edit Hugging Face page. Here you can see the FP8 Safe Tensor file, which is around 20 gigabytes. If you have more VRAM available, you can also use the BF16 version for better performance. Next, this is the Comfy UI main page for Quen Image Edit. Over here, you can see all the key enhancements, documentation, and setup instructions. They've clearly mentioned the workflow, where to place the model files, and how everything fits together. Now, let's jump into Comfy UI and check out the workflow. So this is the workflow, and it's pretty much the same basic workflow we were already using for Quen Edit Plus earlier. Nothing too complicated here. You'll also notice that all the model links are already included. If you just click on these buttons, Comfy UI will automatically download everything for you. As you can see, it's downloading right now. You don't even need to go to Hugging Face manually. This makes installation much easier and faster. Here we have the Load Diffusion model, and I'm using BF16. I've also changed the background color from gray to pink, just to keep things visually clear. First, let's start with something simple, a basic image edit. This is the image we're gonna work with, and let's run it. This is the new edit model reference method, and they recommend using index time step zero. So that's what we'll start with and test. For now, I'm using the normal model, not the lightning version. If you want fast results, you can use lightning with four steps, and we'll check that out as well. But first, this is the normal one. Now let's move on to multiple images. Here I'm using three images, two girls and a bag. This is the prompt I'm using. A young woman sitting comfortably on a modern couch in a stylish living room, holding a pink handbag casually on her shoulder, posing naturally. You can pause and read the full prompt on screen. I'm using index time step zero, higher steps, and also testing with the lightning LoRa. I'm also using a fixed seed here. And this is the image we got. Honestly, it looks pretty good. The face consistency is solid. It doesn't look plasticky. The bag looks clean, and even the couch looks decent. Let me zoom in so you can see the face clearly. As you can see, this looks quite natural. 
Compared to earlier versions, the plasticky look is much more controlled in Quen Image, edit 2511. And this is the scene node. If you don't want to use it, you can simply delete or disable it. Now, let's test a few more things. So far, we've only tested index time step zero. Now, let me try offset. This is another reference method you can use, and this is the result I'm getting. Honestly, this doesn't look that great. The face has changed slightly, and it's starting to look plasticky again. All the settings here are the same as the previous example, and even the background color has shifted. So personally, I wouldn't recommend this method for realistic edits. Now let me show you another index-based example, since this is the new editor reference method they're pushing. I'm testing everything just to see what actually works and what doesn't. That's why I'm not focusing too much on the offset results. They're clearly weaker. Next, let's test two people and a bag. If you've used the older version, you already know that two person edits and plasticky. Here's the prompt, two women sitting back to back with a purse and everything else. I'm using Euler Simple here just to test another sampler. Now, let's push it further and try three women. In the older version, three-person edits were basically unusable. Everything looked artificial, and you couldn't even recognize the faces properly. Here, I'm using Euler Simple, eight steps, and keeping everything else the same. And as you can see, the results are actually decent. It's not perfect but the faces are pretty close and identity is mostly preserved. Let me save this result. This is from Quen Image, edit 2511, and it clearly shows improvement. But I do want to be transparent and show you one more example. Here I tested three images again, and this is the result. This one doesn't look that good. So yes, some images still fail, and three-person consistency is not 100% reliable yet. I wanted to show this as well so you get a realistic idea of what to expect. All right, that's where we'll end today's video. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.